Well guys, this is it. It's the season two finale of the Ultimate Career. And we have got a three-point lead in the Drivers' Championship ahead of Sebastian Vettel, who's been chasing us down for the last few races. And as you can see, we are in Q3. Yes, we cruised through Q1 and Q2. And after setting a banker time in Q3, which was enough for fourth fastest, we're now out there on our outlap on the final qualifying lap of the season. We're preparing to come over the line for the final time in qualifying with just 18 seconds remaining and now can we take pole position in the final race of the season coming down into the first corner and hitting our apexes very nicely and to be honest the title permutations are pretty easy uh, if Vettel wins the race then he wins the championship but if he finishes in any other position we've literally just got to follow him home in the next position so if he finishes second I've just got to finish third because uh, I've got one more race victory than him. Uh, so the only way he can win the championship if he, if he finishes directly in front of me is if he wins the race. And currently he's sitting in P5. And you probably would have been able to see that we were purple through the first sector uh, on this lap. And it's going pretty well so far, to be honest. Uh, the first sector has been pretty good for us. The middle sector has been decent. But the final sector is where we've been losing a little bit of time. Uh, just because, as usual, we're running very, very high wings. Uh, it does seem to help on this game. But obviously, through the final sector, it does compromise you. But we are five tenths purple on our own lap. Uh, and also nearly 5 tenths purple on Fernando Alonso. So now we are on the DRS and coming towards the line. Are we going to be able to get pole position for the final race of the season? Yes, we are. We are on pole position for tomorrow's race by nearly 4 tenths. Sorry, over 3 tenths of a second. 3.2 tenths ahead of Fernando Alonso. And wow, what a lap that was. If we ever needed to produce a lap like that, then was the time. What a brilliant lap, and we are buzzing for tomorrow's race, because if we maintain that, we are going to win the Drivers' Championship. What a lap. And now, well, it's been a great season, and can we cap it off with another World Drivers' Championship? And we come out of the final turn, take a glance behind us, and we are going to take the victory here in Turkey. We've won our first race of the season. We have won the Monaco Grand Prix, guys. Our second win of the season, brilliant stuff, which we definitely capped towards the end of the race. And we were going to take another victory this season. We won in Turkey, we won in Monaco, and now we've won at Monza. Our third victory of the season. Well, season one ended very, very dramatically and saw us take the World Drivers' Championship on the penultimate lap of the season. And now, for season two, we are away in the final race here in Brazil. We don't get a great start. Fernando Alonso is going to look down our inside coming into turn one. He's got the inside line, but we managed to just about hang it around the outside. Are we going to be able to take him now coming through the center S? And no, we're going to have to tuck behind Fernando Alonso in P2. Uh, Vettel is nowhere to be seen at the moment as Jensen Button is taking a look round the outside. But we managed to just about maintain P2 for the meantime. Alonso is leading the race though. And uh, well, we've lost one position off the start. But as you can see further back there, the blue dot is Sebastian Vettel. So he's quite a way back. And, uh, well, we were just sort of slotting into position, to be honest, and waiting for lap three to get the DRS. But, in fact, we were under fire from Jensen Button. He's going to be looking down the inside at us. And is he going to be able to make the move stick? No, he isn't. Uh, although, he's still there. We're still leaving him room on the outside. Vettel currently down in P7, but we do manage to maintain P2 for the meantime. Uh, but on lap four now, uh, we don't have DRS on Alonso. He's bolted, and Button has managed to get past us. For P2, so we slot about down into P3. We haven't got a lot of pace in the race, to be honest. Uh, I think it's mainly down that straight, the fact that we haven't got the the, uh, the low wings. In the middle sector, we're actually very, very quick, but uh, that doesn't really materialise to anything if you've got no pace on the straights, because Lewis Hamilton has now followed his teammate through at the end of lap 5. He's up into a podium position, and we've been knocked down into P4 as Jensen Button, his teammate, 
who passed us at the end of lap four, uh, has just gone on to set the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. So the McLaren's got a lot of pace in this race. And uh, Button is chasing now after Fernando Alonso. And Mark Webber, uh, Sebastian Vettel's teammate, is next behind. Uh, so uh, coming to the end of lap six now, and um, we're seven tenths of a second behind Hamilton, who must have some kind of brake issue because he's braked very, very early. And uh, in doing so, uh, in, in going past him, we've managed to outbreak ourselves. Uh, just looking back at uh, Lewis Hamilton, so uh, I'm sure on the exit he probably would have got a good run on us. And yes, he does. We're going to leave in the room on the outside because we're going to try and take the inside line. And yes, we do. Uh, it looks as if he has got some kind of brake issue as we manage to take P3 back. Uh, but those tyres, uh, we've got to try and take two lap eight, and we've managed to do so uh, because now we're coming into the pit lane, and hopefully the Williams team can give us a nice slick pit stop because we do not, we do not want this to be a dramatic end to this race like it was in season one. Of course, you've got to remember that it was Mark Webber that we were fighting in season one. It's a 5.3 second pit stop. We don't lose any places. Uh, but yeah, in, in season one, it was out of our hands, to be honest. It, you know, we were leading that race from start to finish. And uh, it still took our teammate overtaking uh, Weber on the penultimate lap to, uh, in fact, decide the championship. Uh, so this time, uh, all we've got to do is do our best and then we will win the championship. So at the moment, we don't seem to have a huge amount of pace around this Brazilian track. Although we've taken pole position in season one and season two. Uh, in fact, yeah, our most recent pole was in... Um, was at this track. We haven't. Th that's our first pole of the season. Uh, but uh, th anyway, there you can see that we're currently leading the championship. Vettel, as you'll probably be able to see now, is down in ninth position. Uh, so currently, we'll be taking the championship by 19 points as we set the fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Uh, but yeah, I was saying that yeah, we just didn't seem to have the pace around this uh, track last season either, even though we did take pole. Uh, the same goes for this season as Mark Webber breezes past us, uh, but we are still in championship position and that's vital. Uh, but we still just want to try and get the best result possible in this final race. We're on lap 13 now of the Grand Prix. It is still Fernando Alonso leading the way from Mark Webber now as we're trying to get into his slipstream as we go purple through the first sector and yet we're still behind Webber who is on the option tyres at this stage of the race. We're on the prime tyres and I think we're going to have another prime stint as Webber's now in the pit lane. Uh, for his second pit stop of the afternoon. We're going to try and go to lap 80. As, uh, yeah, 10 laps on these prime tyres is just about enough. As there's a back marker car who's off the track there. Uh, there's yellow flags in sector 1 because of it. I believe it was a virgin car. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, a little bit of drama there. But, uh, nonetheless, a pretty drama-free couple of laps for us. Uh, we've set a good couple of laps as we're now into the pit lane for our penultimate stop of the season. The Williams guys have been pretty good to us this year. We haven't had too many hold-ups. Uh, apart from the last round in Abu Dhabi, I believe, did we get a couple? Uh, no, we only had one pit stop. I can't quite remember. Anyway, there's been a couple of occasions where we've been held up this season, uh, but not as many as in Season 1 as you guys probably remember. As we're out of the pit lane now as Weber sets the fastest lap of the Grand Prix, and he's just out ahead of us. Um, I believe that's our teammate Rubens Varichello. Yes, he's holding him up a treat. Uh, so hopefully Rubens can just keep Mark behind him for a little bit and help us to catch up. And that's exactly what Rubens has done. And, uh, well, now, that's, oh my word, that's a bat marker, in fact. That's not Barrichello. Barrichello's obviously come into the pit lane. And we got a real tank slapper on there. As there's a bat marker completely getting in the way. Uh, but a lot of cars have pitted at the end of this lap. And if you look at the top, you see we go up into P2. Because Fernando Alonso has retired from the Grand Prix. And that promotes us up into P2 and Vettel up into P4. And that's what the title is looking at, at the, looking like at the moment. Uh, we should be gaining six points on Sebastian Vettel. Uh, which means that we should, at the moment, take the title by nine points. But then Vettel managed to work his way past Vitaly Petrov and up into P3. And Weber was holding us up big time. Obviously trying to do a favour for his teammate as he peels off into the pit lane now. So it looks as if it's now a straight fight between ourselves and Vettel. And, well, it looked as if we had the title in the bag. And all of a sudden, we've got Sebastian Vettel coming at us. And his teammate is just sort of, you know, vanished out of the battle. The Red Bull team probably just want him out of the battle. As now, Sebastian Vettel is in title position. He's up into the lead of this Grand Prix. And what on earth has gone on? We've got no pace at this stage of the race. Vettel's on the option tyres. He's going option prime, option, option, 
we can only do two options, Dents, and he's just mugged us on the straights. So at the moment, the championship is just sw taking a huge swing. And now it looks like Sebastian Vettel is going to take the title from us. And on lap 28, we're both coming into the pit lane. As you can see, we're going to set, uh, we're going to fit a set of option tyres. So hopefully, this final stint, we should have enough pace on the option tyres to be able to do Vettel, because we've managed to keep up, for, managed to keep up with him in that stint, even though he was on a uh, a fresher set of tyres, I believe, and also the better compound. He gets out just ahead of us, and there is eight laps left of the season, and we have got to overtake Sebastian Vettel if we want to be crowned World Drivers' Champion for the second consecutive season. I believe Nico Rosberg currently hasn't pitted, so he's leading this race, but Weber's out of this battle. Red Bull have just told him to, you know, get out of this battle. You know, Sebastian's got a title to win, and at the moment, it looks as if he's going to do it, and as Rosberg's into the pit lane, um, we've got Vettel who's pretty, he's actually bolting away from us a little bit at this stage of the race. We don't want our tyres to go off too much at this stage, uh, but as you can see, we're minus one lap on fuel as we have been for quite a while. And at the end of lap 31, start of lap 32, we're still minus one lap of fuel as we go purple now. And we are really trying to reel in Sebastian Vettel. The gap is down to eight tenths of a second. And we're trying to fuel save at the time, at the same time as trying to win a world championship. And those really don't go hand in hand. And now on lap 33, we are right up the chuff of Sebastian Vettel. Trying to make a move maybe into turn one. No, we're going to go deep into the center rest to try and get the cutback maybe. And uh, oh my word, we got on the curbs there. And that could be crucial because now we've got Mark Webber on our tail. who's trying to do a job for his teammate. We move to the inside because we want to commit to the inside line. Uh, but Mark Webber's going to try and go around the outside of us. But we managed to just about make the uh, the apex. And we just about hang on to P2. We're side by side with Mark Webber. But we just about claim the position. But that has done no good for us because Vettel is way up the road now. There's only three laps left in the whole season. And he's got a back marker to contend with. We really don't want them getting involved in this title hunt. But uh, anyway, we've stuck behind Sebastian Vettel, who's got past the bat marker, which we can't get past. And it's a HRT, so hopefully we'll be able to dispatch of him. Now he's in the way. He's right on the racing line, and that is just, it's just ridiculous. You know, this game, it throws up so many curveballs because... You know, the bat markers, they just don't, won't get out of the way. You know, we saw it early when we were chasing Mark Webber. And that could have just completely ruined our chance of, you know, getting past Sebastian Vettel. He's 1.4 seconds up the road. And I'm praying to God that he gets held up by this bat marker. You can just see on the minimap, he's coming through the center S now. And he's got a bat marker to contend with. So I'm hoping at this point that uh, he can maybe get in the way. As Vettel now, he's being held up a little bit. But now he's got past. He's got past. Of the, I believe it's a Virgin car, and uh, yeah, hopefully he should let us through as well as we come through the uh, the left-hander, going a little bit wide, but uh, we're going to stick on the racing line and try and get past him as he moves across on us. And my word, well, you know, there's nothing we can do at this stage. We are helpless. And on lap 36, guys, we have been absolutely shocked this race. Vettel, who started down in P5, at one point was in P9 after we started on pole position. And, well, we were in second for most of the race in championship position. We're not going to win the world championship, guys. Sebastian Vettel takes the checkered flag. He is the world champion. We're going to have to settle for second in the championship. And after, well, we, we were being chased for the whole season. Sebastian Vettel has successfully chased us and well what else what else can you say guys we have given our best this season and it's not quite enough I'm afraid we can only take P2 in the championship and after getting second place this race ahead of Mark Webber, Nico Rosberg, Michael Schumacher, Nick Heidfeld, Vitaly Petrov, Sergio Perez, and uh, I believe, yes, uh, Paul De Resta and Rubens Barrichello, who scored his first points of the season. I'm in a state of shock at the moment, guys, because I did not, I repeat, did not expect that to happen whatsoever. And as we look at the final standings, you can see that Sebastian Vettel has been crowned driver's champion ahead of ourselves with Mark Webber in third, Fernando Alonso in fourth, and a, no, no points this afternoon for uh, McLaren. So uh, Lewis Hamilton stays in fifth position. 
and uh, Sergio Perez is the only real mover in the championship apart from Weber going above Alonso and in the constructors you can see that Red Bull well they took the championship last time out ahead of Ferrari and ourselves Williams who contributed every single point apart from one uh, McLaren in fourth and Mercedes in fifth there is the podium celebrations guys I hope you enjoyed this season this 10 race season and although we didn't take the championship 2012 is going to be the the, uh, the game for us. Season 3 is going to get underway in the next couple of weeks. And after having two pretty successful seasons with Williams, let's see what we're going to do now for Season 3.